Hi guys, it's Seja. So today I'm going to do my everyday makeup tutorial. Well, firstly, look at this setting. I tried out the spotlight hack using your mobile phone and I'm so happy with how the setup is. So without an extended intro as always, let's jump right in. I washed my hair yesterday and I let it dry out straight. I combed it out nicely when it was wet. So it dried out straight like this. If I leave it out uncombed or if I tie it up, it usually dries very voluminous and puffy. But this is what we have today, which is great. Now I'm just gonna tie it up, pin back my bangs and we'll start our base. Okay, first thing I'm gonna start off with is moisturizing my face. I'm using this small moisturizer bell face shop, which I just put in my makeup bag. It's very very light. I don't like heavy moisturizers on my face because I just don't feel comfortable that way. Next thing we're gonna do is put on lip balm. This is by Burt's Bees and it has no color on it. No color on a lip balm works better for makeup in my opinion because then it's clear, there's no tint. So if you apply your lipstick, it'll be its true color. This is the makeup that I do for my videos and I'm shooting another video after this one. So this is slightly more extensive and I've started loving makeup more and more as I've been doing it more every day. Especially since I did that video with Malvika Sitlani, so she has inspired me a lot. Okay, then we have primer. This is by Color Bar. So I'm not sure if this primer specifically really makes a difference to my uh, skin. I have very, very minimal pores just around this area. I don't know why I've gotten them after turning 25. And then I just let everything dry off. Off. Next step is foundation. I have been trying a million different types of foundations recently. This is the primer plus matte and it's in the shade warm sand. I think it's still light for me but I've been using this as I don't have any other option at the moment and it doesn't look so so different in my videos and if I blend it in really well it works out well for me. Take my time with this and my base looks as smooth as possible. I tried MAC, I tried Bobbi Brown, I tried Lacme. L'Oreal and also I've been trying to understand what my freaking shade is because that's just so hard to figure out. Out of all of these that I've tried, I personally really love MAC. The guy at the counter, he gave me the wrong shade so it's really dark for me and I've left it back in Mumbai. Another thing with my skin tone and a lot of other girls who are Indian is that we have different colors of skin in different parts of our face. So my skin is darker on my nose, around my lips, on my forehead. So whatever matches my skin tone over here obviously is so light for me on my nose. I would like to mix two colors of foundation, uh, a darker one for here and then blend it out. But since I only have this one, I find I really, 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 really blending it in works out once, you know, all my makeup is set. Also, I have no idea why the fuck I'm whispering in this video. I think because it's just so dark and quiet and I never do my videos like this. I just feel the need to be slightly more dramatic. Also, of course, drag the foundation down your neck. Yes, we never do this for that. Now, moving on to concealer, I would never apply concealer. But these days, like I said, I'm just getting into more more flawless looking makeup so i'm gonna use this la girl concealer this is in the shade pure beige it really works well for my skin tone so i'm gonna apply this under my eyes and a little bit on my nose like pigmentation over here some beauty spots that i have on my face i just like to take this stippling brush and just run it all over my face you know to just blend out anything that i missed out okay next step which is my favorite step to do these days is contouring the product that i'm going to use is hula by benefit uh, you can use pretty much any powder any bronzer that, that has this kind of color that will adequately you know darken your skin since i cut my fringes uh, i used to have this ridiculous fringe haircut when i was in school like side fringes like when i got that cut like i was looking very uh, chubby like in my face because if something is cut till here automatically there's more emphasis on your cheeks and i thought that would happen again when i cut this fringe but i cut it in a way that was that my fringe is slightly like contouring my face from the side very patla fringe so there's not too much attention drawn to my cheeks i contour really high uh, instead of contouring here in the lower part of my face I start contouring really high and really sharp my nose uh, is slightly more rounded only on the tip so I just just do a little contour line on the tip sometimes I have made my nose teda with this so the key is to have it looking sharp but blend out the edges something that I would do a lot is use my brush and kiss on my skin in the hope to the gods of blending that the makeup would blend but that just you know it's too bad for your skin it just feels really rough uh, this blush I've had for ages now and I've only been using this one color that will suit your skin will obviously make your makeup look a little bit better this I feel is a little too pinky for 
for me. So I mix a little bit of my orange eyeshadow in this just to make the color slightly less pinky, very little. And then I start a little bit higher, like I always try and lift my face when I make up. Next I use brow gel, this is my benefit called Gimme Brow to brush my eyebrows upwards so again it's lifted like colored liners, colored eyeshadow, colored everything is really really trendy right now so I wanted to try it this is my third makeup palette ever again huge blow on my pocket but I thought I should get it because it will be useful in my videos so I got this one my MAC it has all of these like really bright and super colorful and yellow and green let's give this a shot uh, so I'm gonna start with using orange peachish color on my lid that's all I'm gonna use with this uh, flat fluffy brush so how I do this is again in a way to lift my eye so instead of dragging it down I'm taking everything up and also there's not a lot of space between my eyebrow and my lid like my lid is very small usually I would do my crease over here but now I pretend that my crease is slightly higher up so it makes my eyes look uh, way more bigger way more lifted if you don't have a palette that's that pigmented just wet your brush a little bit um, and then use the eyeshadow then it will really really help in it being pigmented uh, okay so that's done I've seen many people including Ashna Shroff do this so shout out to her ish color on the lid and then do a blue uh, on the lower lash line so I'm gonna try exactly that now that whole like shiny highlight color in my inner corner I think is really boring now so I have this bright yellow that I really want to try let's see if this looks good it doesn't look bad to be honest I think it looks pretty good um, next up we have eyeliner I'm gonna do winged liner using this um, sketch pen liner back by Maybelline first draw the wing line out and again angle it upwards and then fill it out and I make a thick wing on the outside I want my eyes to be sort of more wider and I do it only halfway if I make it all the way in I feel like my eyes sort of close in and some kajal I would never apply kajal on my waterline and also sometimes upper uh, because I felt that it's so irritating I just saw how much it makes my eyes look nicer my ma overall makeup look very nice i have indian features uh so we're almost there i ordered fake lashes guys what is happening to me i haven't touched them since because i just feel like they're very scary since we're going all the way might as well uh, um. <sighs> so next step just mascara this is benefit they're real Second last step, highlighter. I don't have a separate highlighter so I just use the shiniest colors in my eyeshadow palette and I wet them again a little bit so that they give a little bit more shine. Very recently have I started overlining my lips slightly on my top lip and a little bit on my lower lip. I already have really big lips but so my top lip I would always like take it in like that but these days when I smile also I've stopped sucking in my upper lip so I think it just suits my face a little bit more I have two lipsticks both by Nykaa and they match very close to my uh, lip color already a very nice nude color which I think is a must it just makes your lipstick and your makeup look so much better slightly uh, this is a little bit darker and I just use this to outline my lips uh, so I don't go overboard with this but just a little bit to just make a little bit of that difference then I just take a little bit of the lipstick and very little of this just in the center all right so makeup is done see the lipstick i put such little of it but it just makes my lips look really full and really nice all right guys thank you so much for watching that was it i hope you guys enjoyed the video my experimental makeup skills and this entire setup if you did please subscribe and like and comment and share and bell button and i'll see you soon bye